So we're going to be thinking about what strategies we can use to add two two-digit numbers, Jaden. So here I've got a calculation. What does that calculation say? 25 add 22. Let's use our bundles of straws. So if I want to make 25, how many bundles of 10 do I need? Ellis? Um, two. Two, because two lots of 10 is? 20. 20, so I've got two lots of 10. When we introduce the idea of place value, I think the straws are important so that they're getting the understanding that that is a bundle, it represents 10, and then you've got your single straws. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, then I've got how many in 22? How many in 22? How many tens in 22? Rossi? Um, Two. two lots of ten. Ten, twenty. So I've got two lots of ten in twenty-two. How many ones? How many ones, Kenzie? In twenty-two. Two. One, two. Okay, so now I've got all of my tens together. How many tens have I got all together now? Let's count. One, two, three, four. I've got four lots of ten. Now Finley was counting in tens, so we've got ten. 20 all together 10 20 30 40 then i've got 41 42 43 40. so going through the process with straws i think is is a very important one brilliant so what we did is we partitioned 25 and 22 then we added the tens together and the twos together so that we could find our total what we're actually doing is the children are actually physically bundling the tens together. And you've ticked off some ones over there as well, haven't you, to count up? They're going through that process that that represents ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, so, so sixteen. Good girl. But well, we've not got straws. What do you think I can use these for? Blocks. They're blocks, but how many? Just count. I think the Dean's apparatus is a step on from that. So even though it's got the 10 cubed, because it is one solid thing, I think that's why it's important to go through the counting of the 10 parts of it. So what do you think these represent? This is 10 of these, but they're all stuck together. So what do these represent? 10. 10. So if I've got two blocks, how many have I got? If I had three blocks... They're really seeing that that one green stick represents ten. Because they all represent ten. So I've got four lots of ten. So they're a bit like... They're just like our bundles of straws that represent ten. So what do you think one of these represents? One. One. So well, how are we going to use these? Yeah. So we're going to have a go at using these now to help us with our partitioning and our calculating. OK? So we're going to do the first one together. And I have got 25 add 42. So I'm going to write that up here. 25 add 42. I want you to get the counting equipment to make 25 add 42. I wanted to use partitioning into tens and ones, looking at how we add the tens digits and then we add the ones digits together to make them easier to add. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Deems obviously will be easier for them to manipulate when they start working with bigger numbers. So can you put all of your tens together, please? How many tens have you got? Six, the little ones. You've got six tens, which is 60. OK. Now what are you going to do? Well done, Finley. Now I'm going to add my ones together. Seven. OK, so I've got six tens, which is 60. And let's see if everybody's got the same number. Seven. So how much have we got together? We've got six tens, which is 60, and seven ones, which is 60. Seven. Seven. Brilliant. Excellent. OK. 67, right. I'd like you to do that one, please. That one. Now put your tens together, good girl. 
You're going to do this one now. 43 add 19. 43 add 19. So first of all, think about what numbers you're going to get. Which do you add together? When you've got your numbers, you add your multiples of 10. Then you add your ones. Thank you, Ellis. Nine. So you need to put how many more to make 10? I have to swap some. You had to swap some. How many did you swap? Um, 10. 10. So you swap 10. Ten ones for one whole ten. Brilliant. I like the whole ten. That's really good. Well done. So all we've done is we've swapped the ten ones for one of the ten. That's really good. Well done. Should we try another one? I think representations are absolutely crucial for children to develop the mathematical understanding. I think they need a range of representations, but you need to introduce them slowly. So they need to explore a particular representation and then perhaps introduce a new one rather than throw deans and straws and bead strings at them. Eventually, if we get it right in the early years, then they can start to make choices about what they use, but also we can start to move them on so that they're not relying on the equipment.